Imagine you're a traveler and you enjoy going to different places all across the globe. But most importantly, you enjoy taking photographs and recording videos. Would you hate carrying around a heavy camera with different lenses, a tripod, and different accessories to take the perfect shot? Well, you're certainly not the only one who has this problem. Now imagine you're a sports person and would like to have your practice sessions recorded so you can easily view them again and again and become better at all your activities. But you simply don't want the hassle of dealing with all the recording equipment and setting everything up. And you don't want it to interfere with your practice session. To tackle this problem, we created DronePet. DronePet is an affordable, ready-to-fly quadcopter that is fully autonomous and is capable of following people around using tag detection, recording activities like hiking and running so that people can view them later on. <sighs> Hi, I'm Aditya Bansal and I'm the developer of the DronePet project. Before I talk about what we did throughout the quarter, let me tell you a little bit about why we decided to work uh, on this problem. We see a huge drone market all across the globe and it only seems to be getting bigger and bigger. In fact, there are drone racing leagues that are popping up everywhere and they're getting a lot of attention. This is one of the reasons we decided to work on a drone related project. We also see a huge market segment that is unable to afford an autonomous drone. The problem we solved this quarter of an autonomous drone that can follow you around and record videos of your activities has already been solved before, but it costs more than $1,500 to get even the most basic of drones. And these drones will only get, help you get your feet wet. So we decided to use a relatively cheap quadcopter, the Parrot Air drone, that is, uh, is one-fifth the cost and it only costs like $250. And we decided to make our own autonomous flight controller on top. The goal of the project was to use this relatively cheap Parrot AR drone quadcopter and build a custom flight controller on top of it that is capable of following a person around using tag detection. We divided our project into four main milestones. Milestone 1. Interfacing with ROS. ROS stands for Robotics Operating System and is an intermediate messaging system between your code slash terminal and your robot, which in our case was a quadcopter. We created a simple keyboard controller that would start up the quadcopter and get it in the air. We also implemented a kill switch that would land the drone in case something goes wrong. Milestone 2 was tag detection. This was the tag that we would attach to the person being followed. We did this using the inbuilt tag detector on the AR drone. And this was probably the easiest part of the project as we didn't have to write any of the image detection or open CD code because we didn't want to reinvent the wheel. Using the inbuilt tag detection, we got the distance of how far the tag is from the front camera of the drone, and then we passed it on to the custom PID controller. Milestone 3 was implementing a PID controller. PID stands for Proportional Integral Derivative, and it's a control loop feedback mechanism that is commonly used to detect errors and fix them. In our project, we used it to calculate how far the tag is from the drone, and whether it's, the, it's in the right, left, upper right direction. Passing this information to the PID controller would result in a value and which would determine which direction the drone should go on to fix its error. The next part was bringing everything together. As you can see here, we start off by hovering in the air. As soon as we see three steady green lights, we bring in the tag to see whether or not our drone follows it. As you can see, the drone yaws to the left when we move to the left. When we cross the distance thresholds of 2 meter, we move the drone forward. As you would see now, the drone goes up or down depending on how high or how low the tag is. Here you can see the tag going really really low, and then you'll see it come back. This is very useful in cases like hiking or jogging. Overall, the drone worked very very well in, in an indoor environment, but as soon as we went outside for a jog or a run, it would not work because of the wind that's outside. This is one problem that still needs to be figured out. Overall, we had a lot of fun working on the project, and with the exception of making it work in a windy environment, we are very happy with the way it turned out. That being so, said, we also know that tag following is not the most ideal way because of just how finicky it is and how it needs ideal conditions. So we'll keep improving it and making it GPS compatible. We hope you enjoyed the video and our project uh, as well, and if you have any questions regarding the project itself, then our contact info should be at the bottom. Thank you.